Hi everybody, Tuxfu here. So recently Jason from Linux for Everybody showed his favorite music player, Lollipop. If you haven't checked out his channel, I recommend you do so. I'll leave a link down in the description. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to show my favorite music player, which is called Clementine, which is also nice and open source and has lots of cool and similar features to Lollipop. So let's have a look at it. So, Clementine is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So, one of the cool features of Clementine is you can do searches for music on your computer and online. So, this works for free music services and also paid music services. As you see here, it says these sources are disabled, gives you a reason, and these say not logged in. Obviously, I don't use any of those services, but there's some ones here which are, I guess, gratis services that you don't need to be signed in to use. So now I can, let's say, search for some Mozart. As you see, I've got lots of Mozart in my music collection, but let's say I've listened to that lots of times. I want some nice, new, fresh Mozart music. So I can see here under Magnatune, they've got quite a bit. So I can add this album to my playlist. And let's add this one to my playlist and now I can also save these playlists which include the music from online sources which is a really cool feature. Another cool feature of Clementine is you can get artist information and song information about the music you're listening to which can be quite fascinating to read while you're listening to music. So for example let's add the album Shadow of the Moon by Blackmore's Night now Blackmore's Night is actually quite a cool band. If you like like early Renaissance music, you like folk music, and you like rock, this band kind of fuses them together. It was started by Richie Blackmore from Deep Purple and Candace Knight, hence Blackmore's Night, it's both their last names. But let's click the Re Renaissance Fair and click artist information we get some info from Wikipedia about Blackmore's Night and if we go song info we should get the lyrics which is quite cool. Now among other features Clementine can rip audio CDs and it can transcode music and it also does auto tagging of music so if we Go here, then we can go edit track information, and we can hit edit tags automatically. Oh, complete tags automatically, as you see. It gives us various options for tagging, so based on the fingerprint of the song. Clementine can also rename, organize, and sort your files and folders. So if you right click on a artist for example you can go organize files and you can rename them rename those however you wish Clementine also offers some flexibility in the way music is organized and displayed to you so we can click up here we can go group by this is quite handy if you like classical music so we can say first level genre second level composer because not everyone knows how to tag their classical music properly it's annoying then we can say album great so now i can go classical and then here i've got a list of composers but because not everyone knows how to tag it properly that's why we said first level genre so that we get extra classical music under unknown clementine has an app for android called clementine remote so it's a remote control for clementine really cool it's on fdroid and google play so you can get it if you de google file your phone and gives us full control as you see we can even do the playlist switch between songs like that switch back to the player and get the song details Very cool feature.
Anyways, that was Clementine. That's my favorite music player. It also has other cool features I didn't demonstrate, such as podcast support. It can also fetch album covers and um, of different sizes, so you can download higher resolution album covers if you wish. It has equalizing and everything else you would expect from a music player. So, very cool application. You should check it out if you like music. Anyways, see you later. Bye.